Okay guys, I'm gonna do something slightly different today. I'm going to assemble this motorcycle. You know what, hold on a second, I need better light. I think that's a little bit better. Anyway, I got Lucy this little whole shot SYX motor. Now, I had just put together an electric motorcycle for her. If you follow my Facebook, you probably saw maybe video or pictures or something like that. But she said the cutest thing. She goes, Daddy, can you put more gas in my motorcycle? And I was thinking to myself, no, and it's a kind of a pain to charge it. By the time you could charge it, we'd be packing up and leaving. So it's fun for around the house and up the street by the neighbors, but when we go out to the desert, her riding that bike, she just sets herself up to watch everybody else riding and having a good time and her not being able to. So I bought her this and I don't know how much she's gonna get into it. So I bought a Chinese one, okay? One of the Chinese ones off Amazon, $256. I'll make a link to it. And it's called the Whole Shot SYX Moto by SYXMoto.com. It's sand it, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook, it's on all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna try to assemble that, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna unbox this. I got my Clark Kent's on here. And we're gonna see what all we have to do get this thing together. When I picked it up, this ripped a little bit. That kind of scared me. I could peek in there at least and see. Really cool little knobby tire. By the way, this video is sponsored by me. Nobody sponsors my video. Some packing material. All right, you know what? I'm gonna bring this camera over here so you can look in. All right. Oh, this thing is freaking cute. Okay, we're gonna open this part up yet first. Looks like, I mean, I've seen some videos on this or similar vehicles. Okay, so front fender. So is this premix? Might be a premix, I don't know. And then there's like a, like a tank strap badge thing. It's not a lot in there. So there's gotta be another spot. Okay, there's where we get to the meat of it. Instructions, oh, here's the tire, wheel assembly. Little disc brake going on there, kind of a mag wheel kind of vibe, cast wheel, not a spoke. Oh man, I'm gonna have to peel all that stuff off because that is ugly. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what I'll do? I can just pull it out, but you know what I think I'm gonna do? Since I wanna cut this, box into pieces anyway. I'm just going to cut the box into pieces. And it falls right in. Whoa! What is this? You know, there's the pipe. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, the, I think that... Uh, oh, oh, that's how they get away with it. That's why it's so low here. The suspension, the suspension is not connected yet. Just floating. All right, there's that. Just unpacking this thing. It's a kickstand, so I don't want to use that yet. I wonder what order they want this put together in. That's where the instructions come in. All right, 
Okay. <laughs> All right, so there's a little one of these safety leashes I see. All right, so let's crack open the manual. Uh, 50cc two-stroke dirt bike competition only. I don't know what kind of competitions this would win, but. So this may be premix. I'm kind of thinking it is, uh, which I have premix oil, so if I have what it's calling for. So step one, install the rear shock, the, blah, blah, the rear shock absorber on both sides. I'm going to assemble this first. Let me see here. So first things first. This is not a toy. Hmm, okay. Put under here. So now we're going to do the handlebars. It looks pretty straight ahead. Just kind of leave them. Flopped over like that for a sec. You can just feel that this uh, metal is not forged the way American metal. You know, look, I'm not being a jerk, okay? I'm from Pennsylvania. Steel country, okay? <laughs> We're proud of our steel, so I'm sorry the Chinese grade steel is not as good. It's just not. That's all there is to it. So you want to tighten these down evenly. So I'm just going to go ahead and finger tighten them until uh, I definitely get it centered. Now I think this plastic affair goes on here. I think it just pops on there. Maybe it zip ties, but it's kind of like a protective thing. Now, I'm guessing uh, the front wheel is going to go on next. So I think that is just a temporary spacer. This is obviously the disc, so that's going to go on this side. I think you do need these spacers, however. So, here we go. All right, that's on there. All right, so I'm just gonna put just a little bit of red Loctite on here, whoops. That came flying out. Looks like blood. Now, you're supposed to be able to do this with just the tools provided, so I'm gonna try it, but I gotta tell you, I don't feel confident about it. <laughs> Look at these skinny little things, come on. I trust my little girl's life with these. I'm, I'm guessing I just put the screwdriver thing across is what they want you to do. Again, I don't feel comfortable with this. All right, so we're gonna use this socket at my open end. And you can't get it too tight. I mean, you can, but it's not going to prevent it from moving because there's a spacer in there. So. And there we go with that. All right, now we're putting on the fender, but I have a conundrum. 
this is too long. Now I got it in at a weird angle trying to get it on. You know what? I'm gonna turn this bike upside down. Why not? I can, so why not do it? I just gotta put that one in right there. So the next thing is putting on this little uh, number plate type dealio. You know, spacer. I don't know if that's in focus. All right, so that is it assembled. Now I have to just make sure of the uh, gas oil mixture. And then we're gonna go outside, maybe even in here. Nah, we gotta go outside. You don't wanna start it in here. I can crack open the garage door and start it in here. But we're gonna take a ride. Right, the garage door is now open. This is a pull start. So I think the gas is on the on position. I think it's straight up and down. I have the choke on. I don't know if I'm gonna get any gas down in there. This, if you take and move it, it pops off really easy. I need some little tighten. There's nothing for it. Now, let's see. That's on. That's the kill switch. Make sure the gas is on. Come on, man. Is that getting gas? Ha ha ha! Woo, listen to that exhaust! <clears throat> Turn the choke off. I'm gonna take it for a little spin. Damn! I'm big for this. Already I realized that I have to <laughs> undo these things and move the handlebars up. When I'm riding it, I have to sit all the way up. Otherwise it puts too much weight on the back tire and it doesn't want to go very fast. Here we go.